once again to Takara. My name is Diane Oputa. Receiving that special greeting card means so much, but making that special greeting card means much more. Today on Takara, we're going to be learning how to make cultural greeting cards for that special event, that special time, or that special someone. We'll be right back to make that cut. My guest today on the program is Mr. Adunusi Aziz, and he's going to be showing us how to make these beautiful greeting cards. You're welcome to the program. Thank you. Mr. Adunusi, I hope you don't mind me calling you Mr. D. Yeah? That was a lot simpler for me. <laughs> this, these are some great greeting cards. Now, you're going to show us how you make them. Right. Let's get started. All right. These are African arts made of fabrics with pen and ink on white papers. You can use cardboards or embossed cards. We can use any color any, cardboard, really, exactly, right? Exactly, exactly. OK, OK. And the cardboards can be brought across locally. Exactly. So we can find them easily. Yeah, and they come in any size. Mm -hmm. So the greeting card can be cut into any size. Any size like, even course. like this exactly. huge, exactly. if we want it. Of have course. you ever made any that big? Yes, I'm yes, sure really. you have. Yeah. <laughs> These are cute. I like them because they are cultural and they have a lot of different messages on them. Tell us, how do you get your ideas? Because obviously you have to draw them yourself. Mm, actually, I have that instinct in me, you know. And when I finished my secondary school, that was as far back as 1989. Okay. I went to Lagos State Council, of, uh, Council for Arts and Culture to study textile design. Okay. So from there, I started developing the instinct. It just came to me, you know. So you used to make day. these cards exactly. as far back as then, exactly. and people would see you, see exactly. the cards, and say, yes. "Why don't you go into the card yes. business?" Because sometimes we have this talent, but we don't know how to channel it. Exactly. You understand? So I'm sure that you were always doing this, and people saw them, and you just looked exactly. at it as a money-making really. venture. Really. Show us exactly how you start the project. Okay. To start with the card, at least it's, it goes through about 11 stages. Okay. You start from cutting of the cards to any sizes and to the sizes you need. Then the drawing, the cutting, the tracing and folding. Then you cut the clothes, seal them, clean them, then package, and the packaging rather. And packaging is exactly. very, very important. important yes. yes, because I, I, I know that these cards are very marketable. Yeah. I'm sure you have good clientele. Did they, they sell mm, well? Actually, of course, they do. Yeah, yeah. OK, so now we're going to start with the actual drawing. Then. Yes. Mm, the, the drawings come in two ways. Mm -hmm. You can use free hand, or you can print. In okay. the course of printing, you need a light box, you know. A light box. Uh, exactly. Mm -hmm. Then some lithophagic and lithographic materials. Okay. But, but today, we don't today really have I that think here. You so. don't have that here, so mm -hmm. I can only do the free hand yes. drawings. And I, I think that's best because um, I think a lot of our viewers may find it difficult to get a light, exactly. lighting board, as you call it. Exactly. And freehand may be a lot simpler. Exactly. So let's use the freehand and let's show them how we would. So to use begin. the freehand, use your pen, the art pen, 
then they can come in any, any, any motif. Maybe you use African culture, you use animals, objects, or florals. And we can even trace things yeah, to Exactly, them. exactly. For those of us who can't draw. Exactly. Right? <laughs> so for okay. now, maybe I can go into floral work. Let me try. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because with the camera and the viewers watching yeah. you, I'm sure that you know, your ability to draw will be a little bit uh, stagnated, right? Let's see. Now, as you're, you're drawing this, how do you determine what, to, what area to really cut out and what area not yeah, to that really is cut out? Is after, the, after the drawing, then I'll, you know, if I'm drawing a flower now, some here will go into green, some will go into maybe lighter colors like mm -hmm. yellow, mm -hmm. orange. Mm -hmm. So after the finishing, I will know what to do okay. about that. That's when you really decide exactly. how to place exactly. your fabrics. Exactly. Yes. Okay. The type of fabrics that we can use on this can be just about anything. Exactly. Right? I mean, there's no, yeah. how thin should the fabric be? Should it be, does it matter if we use something like damask? Mm, actually, we, if, as for me, I use Adire, because I do Adire yes, as well. So yes. I dye my clothes on myself. Mm -hmm. you, know, you dye the, the cloth yourself yes, as well? Exactly, yes. Wow. So all Ankara. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Those are the two types. Though. At times, I may need plain colors. Mm -hmm. So I dye plain colors okay, as well. Okay. So, Basically, we're going to draw out our motif. Mm -hmm. And let's just assume that this is the yeah, finishing this, motif. Exactly, yes. Mm -hmm. Then now, let's begin from there. So from here now, after the, after the drawing, then you now cut. So this is a cutter. Then you can use anything to maybe, or preferably if you use metal or glass, mm -hmm. it will be OK. OK, OK. So. So after we've gotten our artwork, yeah. we now decide on the areas to, to, to cut, cut out yes. carefully with this razor blade. Yes. Do you only work with cultural visuals or do you work with any type of mm. drawings? Actually, your customers actually come and order different kinds of cards exactly, from you as well. Exactly, exactly. Okay. But I'm sure you enjoyed working with these motifs, Actually, African motifs. Really. So, as you're cutting so this. So after the cutting, then I fold, then trace where the clothes will stand. Does it matter whether you're cutting directly on the line? Because I see that you're not really cutting on the okay, line directly. Yes, yes, yes. Are you doing that purposely? Because you're also leaving like the outline of the. Yeah, actually. Just and to it shoot actually out looks the, like a design too yes, on its own. Yes, yes. This actually takes a lot of patience. Exactly. Um, I want to be very careful. Yes. Not to injure yourself along the way. <laughs> mm -hmm. So now I finish with the cotton. Mm -hmm. This is the cotton. Then you now fold. In the course of folding, you use a plastic rubber. Mm -hmm. Where is that little plastic rubber? Is yes. that nice? Yes. Mm -hmm. And why do you, okay, you want to smooth yes. it? Okay. That's all. Then you and trace this is out. like really making use of a piece of a thread thimble, exactly. ending of the thread, right? Yes. Wow, okay. Then you use this, mm -hmm. the it on that, then you trace it out. Now why do you want to trace it out? That shows us where the fabrics will stay. Okay. And in the course of tracing, you might have some, you know, the pencil mark coming out. So that is why we need an eraser. Okay. So just to clean it. To erase any exactly. um, yeah. ink and uh, print, pen mark exactly. that yes. would have gotten on the top, right? Yeah. Okay. And this is a ground. Mm -hmm. 
So let's open it this way so they can see it. So. So this is your fabric choice. Now, yes. another thing, does it matter? Should we be conscious of the fabric choices that we're using for our actually, fabrics? Actually, because in this case, now we have a tree here, mm -hmm. then a pot, then the clothes. Mm -hmm. So we know um, in coloring the trees, we, is it how we use orange, yellow, or green? Mm -hmm. Then the pots, we can use brown or whatever. Yes. Then the clothes, we can use any other color for the others. Mm -hmm. But the trees, we have to be particular. OK. So you can combine yes. your fabrics. Because yes. like here, you've combined two different yeah, fabric exactly. colors. Because you wouldn't want the, the visual of the people exactly. to be wearing exactly. the same color. Exactly. OK, good. Understood. OK. And this is where your scraps of fabric will never go to waste. Because yes. you, <laughs> you will always have fabrics to use. Exactly. Small, small pieces, so. Yeah. And by doing this, you're even cutting different sides different of the sides. pattern exactly. of the fabric. Exactly. So you're getting different colors from yeah. it. I think that as you are cutting it very small too, it's very important because it doesn't allow a lot of bulk behind uh, yeah. the cards yes. when you go to yeah. finish it. So I have to vary the color so that, so that it doesn't look bored. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's bright and exciting. Yeah. Makes the car attractive and yeah. you want to buy it quickly from your hand. I want to ask you about the greetings inside. I like the fact that you left it opened. Yes. So the card is an all-purpose card. It's just exactly. it exactly. for any particular occasion. Exactly. Um, I'm going to ask you to do me a Valentine one for my Valentine segment, okay? okay right. So I would expect for you to send it back so I will uh, show the have viewers. A you have a lot of cards. Okay, it's good. So now you have to, now we seal the cloth. The gum has to not, it doesn't need to be too much. Let me ask you, what's, what price ranges do you sell them? Mm, actually, I have a lot of clients, you know. Mm -hmm. So your cards so start from what price and can go up to? I'm sure a special card that is specially made okay. for someone okay. will be different than just the normal ones you sell okay. every day. Those actually, basic ones is what we want to know. At least 100 now each. At least 100 now. I think that's affordable because a basic mm -hmm. card anyway yeah. is about that or more. So I think that so, was in range. So next step would so be... So we now see the cards together to bring mm -hmm. out the colors. And it's very, very neat. I, I like yeah. the finishing of your card. Very neat and tidy. Even with the gluing and gumming and in the drawing. Hmm. Wow, you would never know that that is just how you do it. Yeah. Just that simple. So after this, just need something to 
applied pressure. Okay. That's why we are needing this pieces of glass. glass. So you just leave it there to yeah. to set. So from here, what we can leave it for about three, five minutes. Mm -hmm. Then Great. After that, we, we clean up and package it. Okay. That's all right, all. let's just take them to the final stage then. Let's mm -hmm. show them how that would finalize the card. Of course, what? if the card is going to that special someone, mm -hmm. you would write your message inside. Yes, yes. We'll be right back. We're going to show you how the, the, the card is packaged because I think the packaging is very important. Don't go away. Welcome back. If you're just joining us, we've been learning how to make cultural greeting cards with our guest, Mr. D. And um, he's going to show us how to finish this card and package it. OK, let's go to our final stage. Now, I think the card is dry now. Mm -hmm. So what we have to do now is painting. I have rotating, rotating ink with me here, then the painting brush. Mm -hmm. What kind of ink is this? Rotary ink. Rotary ink. Yeah. Okay. And I assume that this kind of ink can be found like in art world, art, maybe an no, art craft store. Okay. Yes. I think this is where our artistic ability comes in yes, because yeah. um, knowing exactly where to fill yeah. in and what. Yeah, yeah. But it's all a matter of trial and error for us beginners. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So uh, it should not be a thing that will just frighten you from learning. Yeah. Um, I'm sure that first card wouldn't be as good as the second. So. Mm -hmm. yeah. Any color, you just yes. decided to use black today. Exactly, yeah. so any color ink. Yeah. Now let me ask you, um, if you wanted to, do you also do like portraits of mm. people? You can, can you also use this method to do that? Exactly, I can. You've done that before, I'm sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So one can definitely go further, you can add more color, yeah. you can do so many things to the card yeah. to um, beautify it. You're adding, this is a thin line pencil, pen. Yes. Yes. So that is basically that's the finishing that is the and what finishing. the card would look like outside so we have to allow the, the ink to get dry mm -hmm. then we do the cleaning mm -hmm. the then cleaning if, exactly okay then and in some other cases we might have the card you know not in good shape mm -hmm. so we have to trim it mm -hmm. to come yeah. out in good shape yeah. then very neat it's possible exactly. yeah okay let's show them the inside of the card because the inside the neatness mm -hmm. you can't tell yeah. that um, you've joined anything yeah. like you said the finishing any extra trimming is very important. And of course, you put your message, and let's just assume that everything is finished. Now, how yeah. would we package our card? So because of packaging, I have an envelope here, then the nylon. So this is how I do it. Beautiful. 
and it looks good. What do you think? I think you can do it. I think I can do it. I'm going to try. Now, so I, want to see. Now, okay. I want to see so many. You have so many cards here. Yeah. Let's bring some out so we can show them. We have some on the table. I'm sure they've seen those. Yeah. You have, do you title your, your, your work? Yes, I do. Okay, so, so what would we call so this? So this is an, an outside drama. Outside drama? Yeah. Okay. A man from the north, northern part of Nigeria. Mm -hmm. Then, in some part of Nigeria, we have some people that sell water. So this is a water carrier. Yes, this is really cultural. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. And of course, the woman washing. And then the woman washing. Laundry. Then this is mm -hmm. bad day. Mm -hmm. Or oh, some people would call this mother and child. Mother and child. Uh, yeah. Yeah. They have about three. Then this one is mother and child. Okay. Then there's some. Okay. This one to mother and child. Okay. Beautiful. Yeah. Well made and the finishing, neat and basic. I like that. Mm -hmm. um, I would like our viewers to know more about um, your work. So I'm going to ask them to. Stay tuned, and we're going to give his particulars at the end of the program so you know where to find him. And if you want to know more about his work, then you know where to reach us. Send me an email, takira underscore tv at yahoo.com. Thank you so much for coming on and sharing with us Thank some you so of much. your work. And um, I wish you all the luck. Thanks, sir. Bye-bye.